Robert H. Jackson, the 82nd Justice of the United States Supreme Court, returned home for the final time on October 13, 1954, with a funeral service held at the St. Luke's Episcopal Church and internment at the Maple Grove Cemetery, Frewsburg, New York. On October 10th, the residents of Chautauqua and Warren County woke up to the news of the passage of their most preeminent citizen, Robert H. Jackson, on October 9th, 1954, in Washington, D.C., of an apparent heart attack. The New York Times lead article detailed his extensive private and public career and noting his many and varied accomplishments. The New York Times article talked about the fact that Robert Jackson was born on February 13, 1892 in Spring Creek, Warren County, Pennsylvania. His father was William Eldred Jackson, a farmer, lumberman, and stock breeder. His mother was Angelina Howitt Jackson, and Jackson was of Scotch and Dutch ancestry. The Jacksons lived in a farmhouse about a mile east of Spring Creek on a hillside beside Broken Straw Creek. When Robert was five, the Jacksons moved to Frewsburg. There, his father and mother ran a hotel and an adjoining livery stable. It was in Frewsburg where Jackson gained his initial education. He was a 1909 graduate of Frewsburg High School, and he completed one year of postgraduate studies at the Jamestown High School in 1910. While attending Jamestown, he was on the debate team, and the quotation that appeared under this team picture was Robert Jackson, mark you, this promising young orator from Frewsburg. This certainly was an understatement. During this time period, Jackson was found clerking for his mother's cousin, Frank H. Mott, a prominent lawyer and active Democrat in Jamestown. In September 1911, Jackson began study at Albany Law School. After completing two years' work in one year, he returned to continue his clerkship at Mott's law office. In 1912, when this letter was written, he was not yet 21 years old, so he did not receive a degree from Albany Law School, nor could he be admitted to the bar. But even prior to his admission to the bar, he was very active in democratic politics, encouraging endorsements, and working on the Democratic Committee. After passing the New York bar exams in October 1913, he was admitted to the bar of New York State in November of that year. But he had already tried his first case and won it. The case defended the striking transit workers in the summer of 1913. The first case went to the jury, which refused to convict the defendant, and the rest of the cases were dismissed. This gave the young lawyer-to-be a taste of advocacy, which continued throughout his career. He said later in his career, I was never a crusader, I just liked a good fight. The 1950 city directory finds Robert H. Jackson in practice with Frank Mott. During his years in Albany, Robert Jackson met and subsequently married in 1916 Irene Alice Gerhardt, daughter of a builder in nearby Kingston, New York. The Jacksons had two children, a son, William Eldred Jackson, 
who would later become a lawyer and serve as his father's personal aide at the Nuremberg Trials, and Mary Margaret Jackson. In 1980, in 1918, Jackson became corporation counsel for the city of Jamestown, and at the time was also vice president and general counsel of the Jamestown Street Railway Company, the Jamestown Westfield and Northwestern Railroad, and the Jamestown Telephone Company. Also, Governor Franklin Roosevelt was casting his eye on young Jackson. Governor Roosevelt is seen here with Jackson on the right, and in the center, Frank Mott, Jackson's uncle and mentor. One of Jackson's first administrative appointments was as a member of the New York State Commission to investigate the administration of the New York justice system. The 1920 city directory finds the law firm of Dean Edson and Jackson, consisting of B.S. Dean, Walter Edson, Robert Jackson, and Henry Manley. The family was living on 16 Spruce. In 1922, they moved to their home in Lakeview Avenue and the court. 1924 saw the creation of the law firm of Jackson, Manley, and Herrick with Robert Jackson joining Henry Manley and Gerald Herrick at 600 Fenton Building. Here is an opinion letter to the village of Faulkner by Robert Jackson. In 1926, they moved their offices to the Hotel Jamestown Building. In 1928, a law firm was created of Jackson, Herrick, Durkin, and Leet, including Gerald Herrick, John Durkin, and Ernie Leet, which would last until December 31st, 1932. The balance of his private practice was in partnership with John Durkin. In 1934, now President Franklin D. Roosevelt appointed Robert Jackson to his first post in Washington in the Bureau of Internal Revenue General Counsel. Even while in Washington, Robert Jackson maintained an office at the 2425 Bank of Jamestown building. While serving in that capacity, Jackson delved into the Andrew Mellon Empire and brought a $3 million tax claim against the former Secretary of the Treasury. The claim was ultimately settled for $750,000 but Jackson's reputation was exceedingly enhanced. In 